It's with heavy heart that I'm recording today. We just lost my dad. When I was a child, my parents were always taking us on family adventures, whether it was a weekend getaway at some campground, a week-long trip around Wisconsin, or a longer cross-country adventure. We always had memorable family vacations every year. Dad would always say, travel while you still can. You never know what the future will bring. So it seems rather fitting, I suppose, that we lost Dad while my wife and I were living out his advice. I guess I'm the lucky one. By missing Dad's funeral, all my memories of him are of him when he was alive. The first funeral that I remember was that of my great grandpa Seward. He was my mother's mother's father. I remember mom attributing to grandpa Seward something she would often repeat at other funerals. That when you first attend a funeral as a child, you sit way in the back. But with each funeral to follow, you slowly work your way to the front. Well, mom finally reached the front row. In years past, at every major event in my parents' life together, my dad's friend was a constant figure. He loved to tell humorous stories about my parents when they were young. And he loved to tell stories in a way that would slightly embarrass my mother. But in the end, when the joking was done, he always offered his praise and admiration for Dad. Even though Dad's friend died a few years ago, it only seems fitting at this last major event in my dad's life that we invoke one last time the name Bill Martin. Twenty years ago, after telling some of his stories at Dad's retirement party, Bill Martin pointed out that my parents reached a status in life that few people ever reach. No one ever talked about just Charlie or just Carol. It was always Carol and Charlie. You can't think of one without thinking of the other. The two had truly become one. So while people gathered together to share in my family's time of grief, from this distant vantage point, I cannot help but consider the loss of even something more profound. We're not just grieving losing dad. Mom is no longer the person she was. That dual identity that she shared for over 60 years is no more. By losing dad, something was lost inside mom as well. What we're actually grieving is the loss of Carol and Charlie. So in closing, let me just say one last time, goodbye, mom and dad, and hello, mother.